one click, it erases your entire background. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to show you guys something in the Canva app. This is an app that you download on your iPhone called Canva. So we're going to go to any background, press the plus sign, press image so that we can upload an image as such. And as you can see here, I'm looking for something that, that should say effects, but for some reason it's not in the Canva app on the iPhone. So I'm going to go into the canva.com on my web browser on my iPhone. And I love this because it really demonstrates and displays the same variety that I get when I'm using Canva on my desktop. So you can see here you have your uploads, your photos, your elements, just like when you're using Canva on your desktop. For some reason, I don't know why it's very limited on the Canva app. So I never, ever, ever use the Canva app, only on the web browser. So I'm going to uploads. And if you want to upload a new image, you can go here, upload new image. But I'm just going to choose an image that I already uploaded. So I'm just gonna enlarge it and crop it to my liking. And then you're gonna hit effects and then you're gonna hit background remover. And literally in one click, it erases your entire background. I'm gonna show you something else, but I just wanna show you what you can do on the app, on the web browser and on your desktop. So I'm gonna upload another image just to show you guys. And also if you go to uploads, um, and press the blue button, you can upload videos from your apps or from or directly from your uh, photos from, on your photo folder. So I'm just gonna do another image. We're gonna go to effects and in one click, it removes the entire background of your image. As you can see here, and this is really good for anyone. If you see my last video, I use the er eraser app and I'm a very meticulous person. Another thing that I love about the eraser app is that I can use my fingers opposed to using the mouse to erase and restore, which is what I'm going to show you next. So this is really beneficial for those of you who always ask me, how do I make my thumbnails, you know, popping. But this is pretty much what I do. Also, guys, it's like two in the morning, so that's why I kind of sound like tired. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to show you something else, okay? I want to show you what you can and can't do on the app and on the web browser, on your iPhone and desktop. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I just did earlier on this image because I want to show you guys something. So I'm just waiting for it to create this into a transparent background. And as you can see here, a piece of my circular magnifying mirror on top of my office vanity light mirror is still in view and for some reason on my iphone on the web browser i'm looking for a brush because when i use the canva on my desktop i have the ability to erase and restore if there's pieces of my picture that's still here after i attempt to erase the background so what you can do is you can either crop it on your iphone because it doesn't give me the option to use a brush and you can just do it this way and just crop it or what you can do, which is why I solely use Canva on my desktop. I use it on my iPhone as well, my pocket camera, when I'm traveling and things like that. But if I want to do the eraser background, I use Canva on my desktop. Just to give you a heads up, if you have any pieces that are missing, you're only, from my knowledge and from what I've experienced, I'm only able to do this on the desktop um, view. You can erase your background on the iPhone web browser, but if you have pieces missing, as this picture here, you won't be able to use the brush effect on the app or if you're using Canva web browser on your pocket camera. Kind of reiterated myself more than once, but it's okay. So as you can see here, these little pieces right here, I want to eliminate this. And this is when the brushes come in handy. So I'm going to go to Erase. And as you can see, it makes the uh, transparent PNG background visible so that I can erase any pieces that still remain from that one click. So I'm just erasing here to show you. And then the restore brush is to restore what, you, what you've already erased. So you're probably wondering why would I want to restore the background if I want to um, delete it. And I'm going to show you why. Say if you're deleting a piece that was missing, I mean that was still visible that you didn't want in your picture and you accidentally cut off something like this, your face. 
This is when the restore button comes in handy because you're like, oh my gosh, I just messed up my whole picture. No, you can restore what you like and what you mess up on. And you even, right now, I, I could see that I kind of left a bit of the background. But you see how this brush is large. You can just modify the size of the brush. And I was trying to zoom in so that I can get really close. And this is another reason why I'm using my desktop. If I was using my eraser app from my last video, I would able to pinch and zoom. And I could get really, really, really close to those little spaces of the background that was left as this picture was. So that's why I love using the, er the eraser app to get more meticulous. But for those of you who just want to do something easy, like a quick thumbnail, the Canva app in one click is really great for beginners and I personally love it. So that is pretty much it. And you always want to make sure, let me just show you guys something really quickly. I'm gonna go to back to the image that we just did. And I'm gonna show you guys a very important step. So I'm gonna go to background eraser. And going to erase this background. I've already demonstrated how to erase little pieces that you don't want in your image. And I'm gonna show you guys a really important step. So I'm just gonna enlarge this so that you can see what I'm about to do. And I just wanna show you guys something. So say if you wanna do a thumbnail, you can just change the colors, make it any color you want. I'm just showing you a little bit of what you can do on Canva. This is why I love using this in particular for your thumbnails and say if you want to download this something that i teach in my pocket camera youtube university and in my one-on-one -on -one, uh, vip youtube pocket camera coaching mentorship packages i always encourage my students and clients to save your thumbnail file as your video title with your keywords because this will optimize your videos even more Great SEO strategy. So I'm just gonna change this back to white. And as you can see, it's here. You wanna be able to download this image as a PNG. And you wanna make sure that you tick this off transparent background so that it saves as a PNG. A, a lot of the times um, people will do this and then they'll just press download assuming that it'll come out without the background, but, you're, but what you're gonna but what's going to happen is you're going to download it with the white background or whatever color background you put. You have to make sure that you tick off transparent background so that it has this dark gray. And this is how you know that you have a PNG transparent background so that you can use this image on, on top of any other image that you'd like without a background. And that's how you pretty much do it in just one click, you guys. And don't forget, Boo Kitties, it's 2.10 in the morning. I'm not making this video for you for you mad tired ah, ah, ah. make sure that you subscribe to this channel or check out my other uploads and i'll see you guys on the other side of the pocket camera